So just launched a new $120 million program aimed at eliminating the carbon footprint and to combat climate change. As ABC 10 News reporter Steve Smith tells us, it's about getting rid of natural gas in the home and going electric. You might have included that in the first footage. La Mesa resident Dan Guida is taking advantage of the new Tech Clean California initiative. I'll be replacing my hot water heater and I'll be replacing the AC and heater units with a heat pump. The program, which was launched in December, was designed to eliminate the use of fossil fuels. The Tech Clean California program is designed to incentivize homeowners to replace their old gas furnaces and their old gas water heaters. Now Gabe Carini of Carini Heating, Air and Plumbing says there are a number of benefits the program provides. On one hand, you're lowering the carbon footprint, you know, you're lowering your gas consumption. You're also, uh, you're saving a lot of money on your electricity bill. The gas bill has skyrocketed the last few months. But some good news, according to Carbon Switch, by switching to a heating pump, an average California household saved more than $300 annually in energy costs. This program is especially beneficial for you if you have solar. Because by eliminating the gas and then having your solar system create electricity to heat your home and to also heat your water, you've completely eliminated that part of your bill. And the program provides a rebate to any homeowner interested in replacing gas or an old electric system in the home. It will actually give you uh, up to $9,000 back for heating, air conditioning and water heaters to get replaced. And while the program benefits the homeowner, it also helps the environment. By eliminating the use of gas in your home, you're also eliminating carbon monoxide production. As for Dan, he calls the Tech Clean California program a no-brainer. I won't have a gas bill other than for my stove. In La Mesa, Steve Smith, ABC 10 News. According to the state, the program is expected to run until 2025, but with the already high number of claims, once the funds run out, the program is over.